hey guys happy new year and welcome back to my channel this is my first video this year so i still have to tell you guys happy new year <laughs> in today's video i'm just going to be dropping some very quick gems of wisdom <laughs> that i will be carrying into 2021 and that i think everybody should keep in mind throughout this year. i spent a lot of time last year doing just that thinking and figuring out what works for me what doesn't work and you know making a deliberate conscious decision to stick with things that work for me and so this video i will be sharing with you guys 10 wisdom gems no 10 gems of wisdom to help you get through 2021 so stay tuned get your pens get your notebooks whatever you need to take notes because i'm smart and i'm sharing this wisdom with you guys so <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, so for those who don't know me, my name is Chinom. So I should have said this in the beginning. I forgot. But yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends. And guys, comment, okay? So my first point, my first gem of wisdom is that it is never too late to start over okay and i'm talking about everything whether it's your relationship with people whether it's your career education it's never too late to start over as at the beginning of last year i had reached a point in my life where i knew that a lot of things were just not working the only way to correct those mistakes was to literally be like okay you know what scrap everything I'm gonna go back to the beginning and I'm gonna start over and this was not just about like my life my career it was also about family about friends I essentially told my family you know what listen let's forget the last 20 how many things <laughs> let's forget the last 20 something years of my life and just you know we need to start over this relationship needs to start over on a better note just on a more well-defined and appropriate note for it to succeed okay so i did that with my relationships with family with friends um people that i needed to let go of i let go of and i didn't die okay guys it's never too late to start over if you are at a point in your life where you know things are just not working out and you're like there's no amount of patch patch that you can patch up your life to make it look good you know deep down you need to start over it's never too late okay just calm down breathe plan properly and do it number two and i think that this point everybody can you know at some level agree with it is that savings and passive income are very very important last year when the pandemic hit a lot of people lost their jobs a lot of, a lot of us myself included were just literally sitting at home doing nothing no money coming at least three four months I was not earning any money. Um, if I didn't have savings of any kind, I would have been in deep trouble. <laughs> I wanted to say something else, but yeah, I would have been in deep trouble if I didn't have any savings of any kind. Okay. I didn't have any passive income coming in and that's something that I regret. Definitely something that I'm tr trying to work on this 2021. I cannot just call my parents and be like, hey, send me money. There's no money to be sent, okay? I'm going into this year just keeping it at the back of my mind that, man, savings are important. And I also need to figure out some way to earn passive income because that's the way forward, guys. So, yeah, savings, passive income, very, very important, okay? And then my next point is that it's okay to treat yourself once in a while. And when I say treat yourself, I mean spoil yourself, okay? Whether it's taking your, going on a vacation by yourself to one of your favorite places, somewhere you've always wanted to go to, whether it's buying something pretty expensive for yourself that is that you just really want and that you know you deserve because you've worked your ass off not the one that you've not been working and then you want to carry money small money that you have to go and waste to but i mean you've been putting in the work and so you deserve to sp spoil yourself once in a while just do something nice for yourself even if it's something as easy as just going to the spa you know 
treat yourself some manicure some pedicure some massage just take yourself out guys there's no time more life is short so enjoy it while you can take care of yourself okay take care of yourself while you're still here it's completely fine it's totally okay yes i just said savings is important but once in a while to enjoy your money <laughs> number four is that it's important to let people who are capable of helping you and who are willing to help you to help you if that makes sense there are people who are capable of helping you move forward in life and they are right there offering their help not the ones that will say you must give me something in exchange not those ones i mean there are people who just are capable of helping you and they're willing to help you and some are even offering their help but you thinking that i don't know what you think you are you'll be like no thank you i will continue to struggle on my own that used to be my life let me not even lie that used to definitely be my life and at some point i'm like wait i don't understand why i'm struggling so much this person is offering help on a platter of gold so why don't i just take it okay take it as long as there are no there's no funny exchange going on or there's no funny demand coming from them take that help if you believe in god god will strategically place people in your life just to help you so you have to be smart and understand that this person has been placed in your life to help you you denying that help is not smart you are a mumu you are being stupid <laughs> next point very very important and i feel like some people will think this is cliche but it's the truth guys time management is very underrated okay time management is underrated let me explain what i mean and i'll use myself an example as an example as usual so guys before the pandemic my life was go to work come home go to work come home. and my schedule was weird right my schedule was in such a way that i had my morning free and then i go to work like in the afternoon and be there till like late night so i had all of my morning free but for some reason i just was not doing anything with it and it just felt like i did not have time but the problem was that i was not managing my time well i had time i was spending a good six seven hours at home from when i wake up to when i have to go to work not doing anything when i could have done plenty in that time last year when the pandemic hit and i had way more time to spend at home i realized oh my wait there's actually time like you you need to plan you need to manage your time properly and i know people say this all the time and it sounds cliche but it's true guys time management is underrated so manage your time wisely in this 2021 don't let anybody waste your time too that's another one <laughs> don't let anybody waste your time okay time wasters are cancelled in 2021 so number six it's not by force to find love as in love is not by force okay if it's not coming it's not coming calm down relax in 2021 eh, pandemic hit and just i had time to really just process a lot of things and i realized yeah there are so many other things that i need to do with my life and yes i want to meet someone and i want to fall in love and i want to be happy with the person but if it's not happening it's not happening calm down relax stop forcing it we need to stop this thing stop forcing love to happen okay that's not how it works if you don't have a boo it's all right you don't have a boyfriend you have a girlfriend you don't have a whatever it's fine focus on your growth focus on yourself focus on just making sure that whenever that person comes into your life you're actually ready my next point is something i don't think a lot of people think about but in this 2021 eh, make sure that you actually take your time to make your home feel as comfortable and as homely as possible because let me explain for someone like me i like to when i go out for work whatever whatever and i think of coming home i want that thought to be filled with 
joy and just gladness that I'm coming home, you know, I'm coming to my safe space. I want to be happy when I think I'm going home. And that's very important because your rest and your time alone and your just your downtime is very, very important. If you think of home and you're having high blood pressure, <laughs> you think of going home, you are scared, you think of going home, you're depressed. That's not the way to live. So, and it, it may be just in changing a few things about this space that is your house, or it may be about evaluating the people or the person that you're living with maybe it's them that are causing you hyper pressure think about all those things and just figure out a way to make changes that can make your home become a positive thing a positive thing in your life so take the time to make sure that your home is really your safe space number eight be very sensible about how much of yourself you're investing in other people and I'll explain. I used to be the kind of person that invested all of herself and her soul and her spirit in friendships. In fact, not just friendships, but like just connections with people. And it was draining. First, because I was just doing too much and exerting myself way too much. And secondly, because I wasn't even getting back that energy that I was dispensing. Okay, don't give more than you are getting. I don't know how that sounds. I don't know. Some people will be like, eh. I will say it again. Don't give more than you're getting. It's never worth it. Okay. It's never worth it. The only thing that's going to happen is that the people or the person will be like, oh, well, I don't even, that means I don't even have to do too much since I'm already getting a hundred percent from this person when I'm only giving 30%. And then they'll just keep giving you that 30%. While you, you'll be there struggling exerting yourself trying to make things work homo be sensible be wise and it's 2021 there's no time to be wasting your your energy your goodness your your beautiful self on someone that is not even giving you back half of what you're giving them okay so let's be wise let's be smart don't drain yourself because you're trying to do too much now my second to the last point for 2021 Second to the last gem of wisdom is stop selling yourself short. Oh my God. Humility can be good, but there's a thin line between being humble and just being plain stupid. And especially for women, there's this expectation for us to be humble, to not try to sound like we're proud, to always, you know, just sort of lower ourselves so people don't feel threatened. So men, let me not say people, let me say it as it is, so that men don't feel threatened. Girl, if you know that you have what it takes, say it, say you have what it takes, say it. You have, if you have the degrees, you have the experience, you have, say it, okay? Don't sell yourself short because you're trying to boost anybody's ego. It doesn't make sense. Okay, we're all trying to get ahead in this world. So you need to be putting your best foot forward and not shrinking yourself because some other person thinks you are doing too much or because some other person thinks you will lose out on some man somewhere. That man is mad. The man and the person that thinks you are losing out, both of them are mad. Okay, <laughs> you are capable. So say you are capable. Prove that you're capable. Do it. Go for what you want and what you deserve. And then my last point is, after everything I've said, okay, just make sure that you are having fun. If last year taught us anything, it is that life is short though, and anything can happen at any time. See the way this pandemic just started and just sort of threw people's plans off and just scattered the world in ways that no one ever thought was possible so guys regardless of what you're doing chase the money you know chase your self-development do all that but at the end of the day make sure you're having fun make sure that you're not tightening things to your chest too much <laughs> okay <laughs> so guys those are all the 10 gems of wisdom that i decided to sprinkle on you guys 
in my first video for the year just so i can you know help you start off right i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope that these few points of mine were you know making sense and will help in some way i'm excited for this year um i hope that my channel grows this year amongst other things i'm going to be honest with you guys the way my life is set up right now i'm limited in a lot of ways regarding the kind of content that i can create for you guys but that is all going to be for the greater good because i have big plans and i'm planning something and working towards something which is why um, i'm limited at this point but i promise that if you stick with me you will not regret it that brings me to the end of this video if you haven't subscribed yet please please subscribe and please let's not start the year with me begging you guys to comment okay so please drop your comments in the comment section don't forget to like and share this video with your friends i will see you guys in my next one bye